got here is um, my backpack and everything's fitting in the backpack to make it lightweight for me so everything's fitting in there so I've got my easel and that's the bit that stands onto the easel I've got my hat my brushes are in these tubes I tend to carry two with me because the dirty brushes then can go in the in the empty one um, my paints and all my bits and pieces are in there my paints are actually in that bag there um, gloves spare pair of glasses this is my tripod that I'll put my camera on then I've got white panel carrier and my palette. I'm in a place called Audlem and this is the Shropshire Union Canal which is where I'm going to paint today. Now, I've seen that bar so this fish keep popping in and out of water there. A beautiful day. Uh, I'm going to do that barge and maybe I'll catch another barge coming up and down the river. It's just a beautiful spot. Um, so, restricting myself in time again. So, I'm trying to just keep this down to two hours. Uh, we'll see what I can do. Just a quick note on all of these um, thin air paintings that I'm doing, they're all kind of experiments. Uh, so none of them really, some, some of them I do sell, but they're really just experiments of seeing how I can, what I can get out of a palette knife or a brush, try and keep it loose. Totally different to my studio work. My studio work is much more, not abstract, but may, maybe more impressionistic. So this is a break for me. It's not beautiful. Um, just another word on what to wear if you are out plein air painting. Try and wear neutral colours because if you wear something bright that's going to reflect back on your canvas. So if you wear something red or yellow, that, so that light's going to reflect back onto your canvas. So put something neutral on and plenty of layers because you don't know what the weather's going to do. Okay, let's see how I get on. But generally speaking you do a rule of thirds, so that means that if you split your canvas into thirds Don't, you want to avoid putting your subject, your focus, in the centre, so it needs to be somewhere else. So here, I'm going to put the lock sort of down here. Mm -hmm. Morning. And I might have the towpath coming there in there. And then I'll have, that's the lock in there, so I've got a, the pathway coming like that. And then I've got my boat, I want to make sure I get all the boat in. put this side of your brush on your straight line and bring that down. Actually it's, let's see, the angle of the lock itself. See so I'm keeping my, ang my arm straight so I'm putting the, the handle of the brush on the line of the far bank of the lock. And then I swing my arm back down and I can see then that my line is somewhere like that. That's the far bank. Palette knife over time. See how we get on. 
anywhere. I mean, I'm not exactly starting in a in a tree determined order. I'm just I'm starting where I see the most prominent features really. So obviously my boat is gonna take focus I think try to find that color